Today, Kevin and I have five things to try from Acapella. We have had this brand before. Uh, there's actually a playlist, uh, Acapella Chocolate. So uh, there's two videos where we've tried a lot of these. Uh, so this is the, uh, I have three sets that are caramels. These are Mexican hot chocolate, pumpkin pie, and peppermint fudge. And these are the Naughty Grams peppermint bark. And this is the peppermint mocha dark chocolate bark. Now you may have noticed that um, on the front of these, uh, these are all, the price tags are all marked out. It's not because they're old, it's because we bought them at Tuesday morning and our Tuesday morning store is closing and they don't want you to be able to return anything. They tell you, you can't bring anything back. So they put a line through it, so Just they'll know. Uh, but they were $4.29 a bag at Tuesday morning. And I was really happy to come across these. So I know that the pumpkin pie was out at, um, around Halloween, but there's it's still fine. There's nothing wrong with it. So these are the Mexican hot chocolate caramel with marshmallows. Non-GMO, made with fair trade chocolate, handcrafted with fresh cream and butter. No artificial colors or flavors. There are three servings in the bag. Two pieces are 130 calories. Packed with unique ingredients and real chocolate are ensembles of chocolatiers handcraft each piece in small batches to compose a sweet harmony of flavors. Do I need to get mine? I don't think you want to share it, okay. Okay. Ooh, it has a marshmallow. Did your? Oh, okay. It kind of reminds you of those. Um, it's got a little kick in the back of your throat too. Um, it reminds you of those. Um, you know those little um, kind of the gritty. They're not gritty, but they remind me of the flavor of those little gritty um, chocolate little candies you make. It almost tastes like the brown sugar. Um, I forget what they are. But anyway, they have a similar texture to that, except they're not gritty. That, um, that has uh, cinnamon. Yeah, it's, got, it's I mean, got a kick of pepper in it. That's what Mexican hot chocolate is. It, um, that tastes like, yeah, it tastes it like... cayenne pepper. Yeah, it tastes like cinnamon, but it also tastes like, like there's some heat with it, yeah. too. Yeah, it says um, it has cayenne pepper. Yeah, that's why. Uh, so, I do think I like it. it's chocolate, cinnamon, and heat. Mm-hmm, yeah. I, I like works. a little bit of heat because it's not like too much heat. <clears throat> it's just enough heat to give you just like a little bit of a tingle in your, in your tongue. Okay. This. I like is, that they're individually wrapped too. This is the pumpkin pie um, with real pumpkin and fresh spices. Two pieces are 110 calories, so this is less than that one. That was 130. It's dusted with cookies. Oh yeah, really soft. Made with real pumpkin, fresh cream and butter. You get the pumpkin too. Mm-hmm. It's, like it's got very strong pumpkin pie spices in it. It does. I don't mind it. It's a little strong. It's a little heavy on the powder, mm -hmm. the actual powder seasoning. Um, yeah, the pumpkin pie spice, it's very heavy. Yeah, it's, well, it's actually the, the texture of the powder. Like, it's like coated yeah. with that powder. Um, it's, it's not bad. It's not very sweet for me. No, it's, That's it's, it's almost like they put too much uh, either nutmeg or something like that on. It's very, very strong. Yeah, it's just, I wish or it ginger had, or something. I wish it had some more sweetness to it, but it's not bad. No, and no, you I love don't the texture. get many in the bag anyway. Mm -hmm. um, this. Yeah, so it's only 56. Yeah. This is the. I like it that it's a caramel, but it's not a sticky, getting your teeth kind of caramel. Peppermint fudge with crushed peppermint candy. Yeah, they're all in the package when you open it, be careful. This is back to 130 calories for, for two. Ooh. I love the textures of these. Yeah. They're very nice. Um, like I said, they almost remind me of that candy you make that has like brown sugar and kind of stuff like that, but they're not gritty. 
Virgo. That was almost like biting into a very soft fudge. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's, if you look at it, it looks like a soft fudge. Yeah, that is really, really nice. The peppermint, you taste the peppermint and you get the little candy pieces, mm -hmm. but you also taste the chocolate, yeah, really which nice. I think is really nice. I love that texture. The texture is incredible. The only one of these I really wouldn't, wouldn't buy again is the pumpkin. Milk. And it's because of the powder. It's, it yeah, just has spices. a lot of powder on it. Too much for me. Okay, now this is completely different. These are the Naughty Grams. Naughty Grams Peppermint Bark. Chocolate Graham Knots dipped in peppermint, dark and white chocolate, and topped with crushed peppermint candy. So they're milk and really dark and white. Yeah, hold on. You got that. They're big. They're very well coated. The, the, yeah, those are stuck together. <laughs> Yeah, the white the white pieces are. Yeah, you in our bag. I'm sure it it differs, but in our bag you got more of the um, the dark chocolate. These are three pieces are 130 calories. I like that white coating in there. Sounds. That um. The dark chocolate one, look, the, the pretzel, the, it's like a, it's like, it's not even a pretzel, it's a cookie. Which one? It doesn't actually say it's a pretzel, it just looks like a pretzel. Mm -hmm. It's just shaped like a pretzel. Yeah, it's actually a cookie. I like the one, but it's very, very dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. I like the white ones better. Because you can really taste the peppermint and stuff. I like the white better too. But the dark chocolate does not dry your mouth out at all. No. The white chocolate is sweet. It's sweeter. It's sweet. And, and the peppermint comes through more. So, for us, unfortunately, most of our bag is the dark the chocolate. I could eat a bag. I, if I was going to choose, I would buy a bag of just white. Yeah, the white chocolate's just a lot sweeter. It's delicious. And, and it, it is, it, they're just cookies is all they are. But the, the peppermint, they did it delicately enough to where you actually take, you still taste the chocolate mm -hmm. with the peppermint. Uh, so the, that- The chocolate ones remind you of, if you were to just eat a bag of Oreo, just the cookie parts. Yes, that is what it reminds me of. It's very me. kind of dark, yeah. a little bit bitter. But it is nice. Now these are just, a, this is just bark. So it's hawks. Yeah, One they're big, thin. A couple big uh, this is peppermint mocha shards. dark chocolate bar a holiday favorite crafted with exclusive dark chocolate fresh coated espresso beans pure peppermint oil and topped with peppermint candy one ounce 28 grams 150 calories so this one in particular you would need to weigh okay you definitely get the mm. the uh, coffee yes you do Those espresso beans are nice. They're they're okay. I don't like the texture of them, but I don't like the texture of any coffee bean. Flavor's okay. I need another piece. They're not very sweet though. I think it's delicious. I love it. Yeah, that. if you like a, a stronger coffee flavor, aren't they supposed to be like peppermint and coffee? Because mm -hmm. you don't get peppermint at all. Mm -mm. It's amazing. You you would have if you were asking yourself. What flavor can drown out peppermint? Well, it must be espresso. Espresso beans. Mm hmm. And those espresso beans, if you don't like that texture, hate which it. Kevin doesn't, you would hate that. Mm -hmm. I love that. Those beans are strong, mm -hmm. very, very strong. And there's I, a lot of them, too. And I love the crunch. I could eat that, that. I love those. I think that is absolutely delicious. However, I didn't taste any peppermint whatsoever. You don't taste the chocolate either. You might as well just go buy some espresso beans and eat them. Um, it's primarily espresso beans. Yeah, held you know, you together. Can buy, you can it's buy held them. together with chocolate. You can buy the little espresso beans in the bag mm -hmm. um, to snack on. Yeah, that's what you're eating. I love that it's it's thin. Yeah. It's a thin, crispy layer. And they're already crushed too. It's not whole beans. The it's... bad thing for me is I'm going to eat that whole bag because... I wouldn't be able to stop eating that. I, because for me, 
the whole flavor and texture. It just, it's so terrific I mean, that I'm gonna eat. Uh, there's supposed to be three and a half servings in here. Guess what? That's gonna be a one serving bag for me, truly. Um, okay, so what did we try? We tried Mexican hot chocolate, which I bet is gonna be your favorite. That's my guess. Um, Naughty Grams. Mm -hmm. if, if they had a bag of just the white just Naughty Grams, that would be my favorite yeah. right there 100%. Since they mixed it, I would not pick that one. I wouldn't either. I agree. If they had a bag of just white, I'm buying it. Pumpkin pie is my least, even though I hate those coffee beans, I really do not like the pumpkin pie. Okay. And then um, the peppermint fudge or the Mexican, actually it's going to be the peppermint fudge. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, the texture of it was unbelievable. It had a terrific texture. Mm -hmm. Um, honestly, the only one I wouldn't buy again would be the uh, pumpkin pie, and it, like I said, it's too much powder and not enough sweet yeah. for me. Um, for me, it'd be the pumpkin pie and the, and the espresso bean. Was, I just don't like the texture of espresso beans. Yeah, that's a personal thing for him. I don't mind that cockroach filling in my mouth, so, you know. <laughs> like. Kevin's always like, bug it's shells. like I'm chewing bugs. Well, it is, but it, there's just really, really good. So I wish cockroaches would taste that good. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you missed the other uh, reviews, then please check those out. I know uh, we found them once at Jungle Gems International Market, um, and I don't know where we found the second batch. <laughs> I have no idea. It could have been at Tuesday morning as well. I just do not remember. Could have been at World Market. Or Home Goods, or anyways. yeah, I just do not remember. But I'm I'm glad that even though it's after the holidays, I don't care what time of year I'm eating pumpkin pie or pumpkin. Still good. As long as they're still good, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.